need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pim and your I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gon' fuck on my clip. I need a 30 for 30. All right, T, we threw the first round of the playoffs, man. Uh, uh, some picks were good. Some picks were bad. You know how it go. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had sisters over the Wizards and five. My boy Rub been sent to Cancun. We got Nets over the Celtics in five. We saw that coming. Probably saw a sweep actually, but uh, I said sweep. You know, Tatum went off. Tatum, Tatum did went he did. off. He did that. Lakers could have drafted him, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Buck swept the Heat. Buck, Buck swept the Heat. That what we, we gonna come back. We're gonna come back to that. Oh, we're coming back. We're gonna come, we gonna come back. <laughs> the, the Hawks beat the Knicks in five. I feel so bad about that. That's oh, a four five so matchup. I, I picked the Knicks, but you know, you think a four five matchup gonna go at least six. The boys at say least six. them boys say we got shit to do. Trey Young said, I got some, I got shit to do. I ain't got I time to worry with y'all. Yeah, Trey Young over there Trae Trae Young that, just elevated status. That that boy's serious. Over there in that West, Jazz got rid of the Grizz in five. Uh, the only game that the Grizz got was the game that uh, 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 Donovan Mitchell didn't play. Mm -hmm. But that boy, Ja, that boy, Ja heard you, T. You heard me. That's good. That's good. He listening. That boy, I heard you. I like it. That's what I need. Suns over the Lakers and six. Who, uh, who, who, who they were? I, you heard <laughs> me, man. Ain't no man. Suns beat the Lakers in six, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get to that moment on, on another segment. Mm -hmm. Nuggets over the Blazers in six, my boy Dane. That was a hard one for me. I didn't want to pick that one. That's the one I picked. And them clips and males. By the time y'all see this, America quite possibly that that one would be decided. You got a game seven. Uh, in a classic series in which the road team been winning all the guys the damn <laughs> Where they do that at, man? <laughs> and you got this 22-year-old European motherfucker that just got down. Uh, I think he's 22, ain't it? Uh, Luca. Yeah, I think I think that's right. I think out here right. showing his whole ass. Yeah, out he here just, showing his whole ass. He just on these boys that's supposed to be like this. So. Oh my God! Well, what was your big, big takeaway from it, T? Uh, big things that stood out for you. Big disappointments. What stood out the most, man? Start over in the West. Um, I really, I really, I really was. It was bittersweet to watch the Blazers and the Nuggets. I've been championing Yoke all year. I picked the Nuggets. Now pick the nuggets simply because you've been championing yoke for like three years. Yeah. And and, yeah. and and you know, I'm a Dame guy. I'm a Dame guy. Maybe Dame comes to the team that's on my head. Maybe. But um that was a tough one, but that was a great series. Those were two really good teams. The only difference was I think shot making made the difference. They couldn't, and they didn't have an answer for Jokic. They did mm -hmm. not have an answer for Jokic. You look at you look at that team, man. Like the the double overtime game, they got twenty eight from Monte Morris off the bench. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't replace that. Like like Portland's bench does not give you one guy that gives you twenty eight, not off the pine. So Dame had to do more work. Uh, you know, a lot of people get on Covington for the dunk miss. But man, Coven people don't remember. People ain't people ain't remembering. Covington had to end up guarding Jokic in that game. Mm -hmm. So your legs trying to guard a load like that, they're gonna go away. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't used to guarding a guy that huge, that's gonna go away. So, uh, but again, that was that was a tough one. But uh, but I mean, I'm glad the Nuggets are advancing. They got the Suns next, right? Okay, so Suns next. Uh, over in the East, give me one second. Do it, What's 
this how we gonna do this here. This is how we gonna do this here. Yeah. I wanted to put my I've been wanting to put my brim on, go fishing with Bam. I called Bam up. I said, hey dog, since you ain't got nothing going on, man, like what Miami be like, man. Like we're gonna do some deep, deep sea fishing. Like we're gonna catch group or something. And so Jimmy, Jimmy gonna Jimmy gonna Jimmy gonna link up with us a little bit later and everything. You know, oh, boy. So I put my sun cap on, you know what I'm talking about? Right. Let him know, you know, what it is. So yeah, so we out here. We're gonna we gonna get out there. We're gonna connect here in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna fly me out. But uh yeah, that was an ass whooping. And I'm gonna tell Bam that to his face when I see him. Hey Bam, that was an ass whooping. Like, y'all got your ass whooped. And that's okay. That ain't no problem. Pat told y'all go rest. Go go take some time, go rest. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and y'all recoup. What uh, you chopping it up to, T? I hear motherfuckers trying to say that when it comes to the heat. And my Lakers, mm. they're trying to say that it's the short layoff. It's, I, I it's think the, that is a, I think that is a factor. I really do okay. think that is a factor. Um, I do think. I, I I mean, you could tell. It, to me, I could tell the Heat was really pressing. Like they would hit a stride where they would struggle, then they would hit mm. that stride where they was like, "I right, we figuring it out." And maybe that's mm-hmm. just mind telling body, you good, and it really ain't the case. Mm-hmm. But um, I think both teams were tired. I, I really do. I mean, the short layoffs, they do mean something. Now, you know, some teams like Phoenix had had a little bit longer of a layoff than L.A. or Miami. Mm-hmm. I mean, so maybe they had a little bit more, bit more rest. Um there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot for me that I think needs to be answered in Miami and 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 Pat Riley I'm gonna call him out you need Uh-oh. to get it. okay you, okay you need, you need to get into your deal making bag like if you're oh. one of if you're that oh. GM oh oh hold oh, the fuck all right yeah single me in listen Pat Riley has got to go in and get in and get into his bag you've been on the You've been rumored to have had your name tied to Giannis. You could possibly have your name tied to Dame Lillard, whoever. I'm just throwing, you know, Dame out there speculatively. I don't know that for sure, but he would damn sure fit there. He better than none in Drogic. My boy, my boy Caesar. I think he might have him in his top five by the way he feel about it. So, but uh, Pat got to get in his bag, man. I did not like the Olenek move. That's just me. I didn't think Oladipo was the answer there. Mm-hmm. Uh, injury prone, hadn't been on the floor in a while, had made one all-star team, I think. And, and he, I don't know if that was the answer to continuing the Eastern Conference title defense. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's the case. But I'm going to get off that. I'm going to just go to this. Okay. Trey Young, I apologize. I apologize. This okay. man over here to the left of me said, Trey coming. Trey that dude. I was like, ah. Right. He led he college said. basketball in scoring and assists. He did. And, you know, I guess I discredit college basketball now for what it is. Like, college basketball ain't what it is. So I get it. I get it. But I, get but it. I will say this. We're going to find out a lot more come this next series. And I'm a Hawks. I, I said the Hawks were coming. I said that. And that's the part. That's part. People are going to be like, T, what you talking about? I, I get it. I picked the Knicks. But I picked the Knicks strictly because the Knicks have had their number in the regular season. But what you've been telling me for all year long, who you been telling me about? I've been telling you the Hawks coming. Not just because of Trey, about. though. No, nah, it wasn't even Trey you were giving me. I was telling you you were giving me Collins. I say Collins. You yep. were giving me Capella. Yep. You were giving me Bogdanovich. Yeah. You been telling me. Yeah. But but now. Them boy can play some basketball. But now here's the thing that unlocks all of that. It's the Nate McMillan hire. He has unlocked something in them boys that I think people are not giving a lot of credit to. Like, like if we could go ahead, right? If I could, if you could say, all right, coach of the year right now, you might say Nate McMillan. And I couldn't argue with you. Because no, he has unlocked said, them boys. I had said uh, 
my boy up there in New York. Is that, is that Tibbs? I don't think he has looking, the talent though. I don't think he has that talent. Looking, they got me looking a fool out here in these streets. Me and you, bro. Me and you. I picked him. I mean, but but I don't think he's got that kind of talent. Like he's got D Rose, he's got Drew Randall, but I wonder sometimes what uh not having Mitch Robinson, what that would do, because Mitch Robinson affects both ends of the floor. What does uh where did RJ Barrett go? Because people ain't talking about Barrett either. But Barrett didn't show up in these playoffs. This D Nash godson, he ain't show up. So where was he at? You know, that JoJo won. Jo that's the reason JoJo picked him Hawk. JoJo say he ain't he don't he ain't believing in no RJ Barrett. Well, I can't blame him there though. Can't blame him on that. I mean, he called it. He called it. I should have called the Hawks too. They, but I just strictly went off regular season. I said, maybe they just don't match up right. right. And I was wrong. Dead wrong. So so that, that was, those are my reactions. I got my fishing hat on. I'm going to cook up with them boys. We probably going to get together about uh, after the 4th of July or something. I think that's what we talked about. So, you know, I'm going to give a bam and them. We're going to, you know, pull up and catch some grouper and some redfish and stuff and just see what it is, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to chop it up. We'll get back. We'll be back. Oh, boy. Well, America, y'all tell us what were y'all big takeaways from the first round. Who were you impressed with? Who were you disappointed in team-wise? Of course, y'all know I'm disappointed in my Los Angeles Lakers. I've been telling y'all all year that we got we don't do championships since I've been a fan of the Lakers, mm. okay? Since mm -hmm. I've been a fan of the Lakers, since Phil Jackson went to the Lakers, that's when I became a fan of the Lakers, right. okay? Childhood Bulls fan. Fuck it. Childhood Michael Jordan fan. When Phil Jackson went to them Lakers, that's when I became a Lakers fan. Right. We win championships in the multiples. So for us to get bounced in the first round, I feel some type of way as y'all going to see shortly. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's obvious what my biggest disappointment is. Y'all tell us uh, what y'all were most disappointed in? Uh, what y'all big take takeaways from that first round? Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit Statement Tees, LLC.com, and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t shirt you wear makes a statement.